This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control continuing our top 20 ways that people get rid of bed bugs. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all the positive feedback, everything people have said over the last two videos. You guys are really just fantastic. We got just a couple more to go, and I am gonna go over some positive things, good ways that people do get rid of bed bugs on their own. So stay tuned to this last 10, top 10, how to get rid of bed bugs uh, and what people do, not just here in the United States, but all around the world the things people do to try to get rid of their bed bug problem. We're gonna talk about whether it works, whether it doesn't, what actually you can do to get rid of your bed bug problem. So, number 10 on the list, we're gonna talk about Say Bye Bug. All right, Say Bye Bug is a pesticide that people purchase online. They got a website, a lot of people use it. I go behind a lot of exterminators who use this chemical and it is absolutely not effective to get rid of bed bugs. I'm going to say that right out before I even go into why it doesn't work. It absolutely doesn't work. But if you go to their website and you look at their website, they've got five star reviews on Say Bye Bug. Now, I was going to make a video just about this product alone, but I decided to just include it in this top 20 list instead. And we'll just go over some really simple facts about Say Bye Bug. If you go to their website and you read their reviews on Say Bye Bug, and you know they claim to be the highest rated, the most effective way to get rid of bed bugs. They've got so many five-star reviews, it's unreal, like hundreds and hundreds of five-star reviews for this product. But if you go read those five-star reviews, a lot of those five-star reviews claim that it doesn't work or that they, that they mailed in for this product and they never got it. So uh, how are they getting five stars? Would you, let me ask you a question, you're sitting there at your desk or in your car or wherever you are watching me talk to you about bugs. Would you rate a product five stars if it never arrived in the mail? Would you rate a star, a product, five stars if it did not work? Would you? I don't think you would. And so a lot of these comments on this say by bug are really, really fishy. But I recommend you do your own research. Go look it up, read it. I'm not going to say anything about what they are doing or what they are not doing with their reviews, but go read them. It's very good reading. I spent a good two, three hours reading through some of these reviews. I looked at my wife and I said, this is, this is crazy. I've never reviewed a product five stars that never even arrived in the mail that I didn't even get to try. So, say by bug, top 10. 10, 10, right on the list. I'll use both hands. 10. All right? That's number 10. So number nine on the list. Don't buy it. Just don't buy Say Bye Bug. I, that's all I can say. Don't, don't buy it. So we're going to talk about number nine, uh, rubbing alcohol. All right? Rubbing alcohol is extremely dangerous. A lot of people use it to get rid of their bed bugs. A lot of people try to get rid of their bed bugs using rubbing alcohol. But for the same reason that a freeze treatment doesn't work, the same reason that a heat treatment doesn't work is because alcohol evaporates almost as soon as you apply it. It starts to evaporate right away. It's not going to stay around to kill your bed bugs. It only works on contact. If you take a bed bug and you drop it into a little baby jar with you know, alcohol in it, yes, it will kill the bed bug. If I took you and dropped you into a vat of alcohol, you would die too. It is a toxic chemical that will kill you if you're submerged in it, okay? It's not safe to be submerged in alcohol. It's not safe for you. It's not good for you. It's not good for the bugs. It causes brain damage, just the fumes alone, breathing the fumes alone from alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 99, 98%, 97%, whatever. It's actually toxic to you. It can kill you. It causes brain damage. It is not something I recommend. Do not do it. Not only that, but you could actually burn your house to the ground using alcohol. The fumes that get in the air from evaporation are highly flammable, combustible. You do not want to do it. 
don't do it. I don't want you to be the, the, the statistic. I don't want you to be the person that they talk about on the news that had bed bugs so bad and died burned alive in their own home. Just don't do it, please. We're going to talk about the ways that you can get rid of bed bugs and be effective and be safe. You don't have to take your own life into your own hands dealing with a bug that doesn't even cause disease. You know, the thing is, is bed bugs, a lot of people do some really drastic things. And we've gone over some pretty drastic, you know, ideas that people get for bed bugs and, you know, are trying to eliminate them. And I recommend going back and watching the, the first two videos in this series. They're really good videos and they go over some really good ways of not, what not to do to get rid of bed bugs. And some of them are pretty dangerous. You know, bed bugs don't cause disease. They don't cause health problems. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to kill you. Yes, they're annoying and you have to get rid of them, but they're not going to hurt you. They're not going to hurt you. They're just going to bite you. You know, you can get rid of them without killing yourself. So hopefully, uh, you know, you understand that. So let's talk about number eight. Let's, go, let's just go ahead and check that one off. Sorry, I'm working with a list. I'm trying to keep everything straight here. So uh, number eight on the list would be Semexa. Now, Semexa is a pretty effective way at killing bed bugs. It's about the same as diatomaceous earth. And one of the reasons I don't recommend diatomaceous earth for the regular person to use it is because the dust gets everywhere. It's, it's not safe to breathe it in. Uh, Semexa is actually silica dust. So it's like what you get in those little packets. Like if you get a brand new pair of shoes, they have those little packets of silica in there. You take it and you grind it up, you make a dust out of it. That's silica dust. That's the active ingredient in, uh, in Semexa. And it's actually pretty toxic to breathe into your lungs. For the same reason diatomaceous earth is toxic to breathe into your lungs, it can cause silicosis. And when you take it, you put on your mattress and your box springs, places like that. It's, 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 it's toxic to you. It's not safe for you. And we're talking about safe things. We're, we're going to talk about safe ways to get rid of bed bugs, ways you can be effective getting rid of bed bugs, but you know that what you're going to do is safe. It's not going to hurt you. That's what we're talking about. That's why I don't recommend Semexa. Even professionals that come in your house. I've seen a lot of professional videos. You go online, you watch people apply for Semexa. They're using dust masks or they're using respirators. They're putting it in wall voids. They're not putting it all over your furniture because it's not safe to be put on your furniture. You know, you plop down on your bed and that dust goes up in the air because it's dust. It's dry. Dust only works dry. It doesn't work wet. So it puffs into the air. You breathe it in your lungs. You don't even realize you're doing it. And then you're in the emergency room because you got COPD or asthmatic attack or something like that. It's not, not safe. Don't do it. I don't recommend it at all. You'd be better off hiring a professional if you're going to go through something like that. So uh, let's talk about the next on the list. We're going to talk about RAID. 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 Or any other aerosol type pesticide. Um, aerosols are not really very effective to get rid of bugs. Um, they're good for like on contact. So like if you're going to spray a bug on contact, you know, just psht, dead. Aerosols are good for that. They work really well for that. The problem with aerosol is aerosols have ingredients in them that make them, you know, that make a propellant. The propellant comes out, you know, you spray it. It's, it's, you know, that's what kills the bug is the propellant. Uh, I'm not the propellant, but the active ingredient, but the propellant is what gets the chemical out. A lot of these propellants have adverse effects on the active ingredient. So when you have a aerosol, the reason it doesn't last very long, the reason it doesn't kill bugs for very long is because those propellants can break down those chemical products and then they're no longer effective. So let's say you had a bottle of one pesticide. All right, you got a, you got a bottle of pesticide and you're going to you're going to mix it with water and the same exact active ingredient in that bottle of pesticide is also in an aerosol like Raid or, you know, some other aerosol pesticide. Um, the liquid that you mix yourself, if you do a good job mixing it, is actually going to be more effective. It will last a longer period of time than what is in that little can of aerosol. It's just the way it is. So aerosols, while they're very convenient, they aren't very effective on the long term. So don't recommend aerosols unless you're traveling and you want to just keep a can in your luggage or something like that in case you get to a hotel and you notice there's a bed bug problem. You can kind of spray to kind of prevent the problem from getting onto you while you're there. Otherwise, aerosols are not for, you know, elimination in your own home. I don't recommend it. Uh, there's lots of aerosols out there that uh, different pe pesticides have aerosol versions, that, but they also have a liquid version of the exact same thing. Always go liquid. Always mix liquid if you can. So... Hopefully that explains that to you. And next we're going to talk about lemongrass. We're going to talk about lemongrass pesticides. So it's a real common 
pesticide nowadays. They try to say, well, it's lemongrass, it's safe, it's not going to hurt you, it's really, really safe. And I'll tell you what else it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt bed bugs. Um, you take that stuff, you spray it around, it just does not work. It does not get rid of bed bugs. Not something that I, fa- that, that I recommend at all, although it does smell nice does make your room smell really nice when you use it. I've been behind it all the time. I go behind this lemongrass stuff. People spray all over the place. The bugs don't like to crawl through it. That's the problem. It's a repellent. They don't like to get into it. It's kind of gross for them. It's oily. It's nasty. And they don't like it. So they avoid it. They don't get in it. They find new ways to get to you. Or they just wait until it's no longer effective. And then they crawl out to bite you. So uh, lemongrass pesticides, not something I recommend. Absolutely not. So if you look at the label, you read your labels, you're in the store, and you're like, oh, this says lemongrass in it, just don't buy it, put it back on the shelf, it's a waste of your money. So hopefully this video has been effective, and next week we're going to go over the top five, last five things. We're going to actually talk about the number one best way to get rid of bed bugs that I recommend on my channel, that I recommend, that I see other exterminators recommending, that's top rated on Amazon recommended. It's the best thing to use for bed bugs. We're going to go over that next week. So I saved it for a reason. One of these things where I I make these lists and I want you to watch my videos. So you need to subscribe to my channel. You need to follow me and you need to uh, hit that notification bell so you get this top five. The, the last five things we're going to talk about the number one way to get rid of bed bugs in your home forever. Um, so I hope you guys are having a really great time watching these videos. I really appreciate all the positivity in the comments below. If you have a question or you have an item that I may have forgotten, I mean, we've been through 15 already. If there's anything that you want to add, don't hesitate to do it. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. And Hopefully, this has been effective at showing you different ways that you can get rid of bed bugs on your own and what things not to try, like lemongrass. Don't buy lemongrass. Um, so also, I have a, uh, a course online. You can order my course. It's pretty in, in, uh, inexpensive right now around the holidays. It's usually pretty cheap to get it. I recommend you jump in there and get it. If you need a discount code, uh, leave a description, leave a, leave a comment below. I'll send you a discount, or you could DM me on, on Discord. I recommend Discord. Uh, Discord, I give away discounts all the time on all of my stuff. And so I recommend you you pop in over there. I've got a really good community there too. Lots of people there that know how to get rid of bed bugs that have done it on their own, success stories and everything. And they just stick around to help like I do. You know, they, they are there. If I can't get to your answer right away, there's someone there that can. So I definitely recommend Discord. It's like I said, down below, click the show more button down there and read all of my social media links. I've got my, my course link down there. I get the Discord link. Everything's available right there for you. Really easy. Click of a button. And also a list on Amazon. Different uh, products that I use that actually are effective on bed bugs. And so you can get rid of your bed bug problem on your own. If you really like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up, share, and hang out with us every Thursday night. We do live streams every Thursday where I will answer your questions myself. I do telephone consultations. That's also in the description below. Um, but if you come in live when I'm on, you know, on Thursday nights, then I'll answer your question for free. You don't have to pay to do a consult. You don't have to do it. You can just call me up. I've got a telephone number that everybody can get a hold of. Everybody can use it and call me. And I do get calls. It's just like a call-in radio show. I actually really enjoy talking with each and every one of you. So um, I look forward to seeing you. Y'all have a good day, uh, good night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the top five ways to get rid of bed bugs on your own. Thanks a lot. And y'all have a good one.